So our ability to manage men early in diagnosis is, is very good. So surgery and radiation therapies are first line therapies and it's going to be really hard for us to ever change that dynamic because that works so effectively. What we're really, really worried about are the 20% of guys that progress through that stage and, and develop systemic disease in, despite of that sort of treatment. And so, we, and so in that case, first line therapy is hormone therapy and it will be for some time. And so we want to be able to help improve the efficacy of that therapy because guys progress through that on an average of about 18 to 20 months. And what we think we can do with this is we've identified a key Achilles heel for these tumors that they're trying to get cholesterol to make their own steroid at the same time to reactivate the androreceptor. They need the cholesterol in order to be able to divide. We will be able to uh, turn prostate cancer into a manageable condition, not a lethal disease, even in these advanced cases. I mean, this grant is a critical step for us because it allows us to to take the next level, take this to the next level. We didn't have any other funding for this. The donors are key. This sort of support that we have as a disease specific program is not attainable anywhere else. Within Canada, uh, the fundraising, the philanthropy that, that Prostate Cancer Canada has been able to generate over the last decade or 15 years that it's been in existence has been um, invaluable.